Welcome to Studio 90 here in Dresden, Germany, where the U.S. women's national team have put their final preparations in order ahead of the quarterfinal match against Brazil. We didn't think that we would play against such a, you know, a strong opponent in the quarterfinal. Um, you know, not, not anything against the other teams, but, you know, normally we see Brazil in the semis or the finals. We knew we had to play Brazil at some point, and we know that's a big rival. It's going to be a fun game, um, but we're just really excited to get going. I expect a lot of individualistic type stuff where I think for them, you know, they're an individual team. They want to try to beat you 1v1. Um, on our side, you're going to see us defending as a team. You're going to see no one left behind, no one left by themselves. And uh, I think that you're going to see a good matchup. It's going to go back and forth. And I think, uh, you know, if we can defend first and defend together and then we go forward as a team, we're going to do very well. Communication is going to be key for us. Uh, with it, like I said, being really loud, we're going to have to be screaming, uh, you know, and making sure we're on the same page, constantly having our head on a swivel and just uh, staying compact and work hard together as a team and, and cover for each other. You know, defend in numbers and stay behind the ball and, you know, communicate. Those are, those are going to be key factors for us to win. The huge focus for us is just making sure that we finish our chances because we're not going to get that many against Brazil, so we need to make them count. All right, we are back here on Studio 90 with U.S. Women's National Team Assistant Coach Erica Walsh. Erica, this is a really exciting time. Uh, it seems like the fans, the teams, the city is really excited for this game. What's the mood like with the team ahead of the quarterfinal? Yeah, obviously the atmosphere here in Germany has been fantastic and um, there's a bit of a quiet confidence within the group right now. I think uh, after the result against Sweden, um, brought the team back together and we've had some time to reflect and look at some video and, um, and have some good conversations and I think at this point they're geared up and they're ready to go. The games in a tournament like this come fast, just a few days in between them. As a coaching staff, how do you prepare for multiple games, different styles, you know, we've played four games that all look pretty different. What's that process like for the coaching staff? Well, obviously, you know your opponents in group play, and I would say that we've spent the most amount of time preparing in North Korea. They were the opponent that we knew the least about going into the event. Uh, we were a bit more familiar with Sweden and spent some time on Colombia as well. Um, but now that we're in the quarterfinals, uh, obviously we're familiar with Brazil and some of their special players playing in the WPS right now. And so we've had some conversations um, with the players about their experience playing against players like Christiane and Marta. Uh, you know, obviously sit down and watch some video and the trusting the scouts that have been around and watching these games. And the combination of all of us leave us feeling pretty good about our preparation. After the match against Sweden, uh, Pia and the players, you know, were quick to say that we played well. The result perhaps, you know, didn't go our way. But what can we improve from the last game as we get ready to face Brazil? Yeah, I think the takeaway from the Sweden game is that we're going to need to have more movement against Brazil, especially in our front six. We're going to need players changing lines. We need midfielders in advance of our forwards. We're going to need our forwards going in opposite directions, um, making crisscrossing runs and really working those man markers of Brazil. I think that's the key to our attack um, in this match tomorrow is making sure that these man we don't sit on these man markers, but we really make them work. Uh, there are talented forwards, you know, at all these teams in the World Cup, but Brazil perhaps poses some unique attacking challenges. Uh, without giving too much away, how does the U.S. plan to deal with those in the game? Yeah, you can't minimize the incredible attacking ability of some of their special players, um, but we do have quite a bit of confidence in our team defending, um, especially the unit of our, our back eight, our midfield four and our back four, and combine Hope Solo with that unit. And we feel as though if we defend as a unit, um, we double team when applicable, um, and we make sure that we're organized, especially in counterattack and in transition. We feel comfortable that we can handle any challenge that comes our way. All right, Erica, well, thanks for uh, joining us on Studio 90. Uh, good luck in the quarterfinal. You can watch the USA take on Brazil at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time on ESPN and Galavision. That's it from Studio 90 here in Dresden.